Greetings, my name is Kevin Ike, Sales and Support Manager with BatteryGeek.net, here this afternoon in downtown Portland, Oregon, to talk to you a little bit more about the PowerStick 15. How many times have you guys ever been using a cell phone or a PDA and maybe getting through your last email or call and you run out of battery power, unable to complete your conversation with the person that you're working with? Well, the PowerStick 15 is one of our best options for an external battery pack for your handheld devices. Powering devices from 3 to 7.4 volts, the PowerStick 15 is compatible with most popular cell phones, PDAs, smartphones, digital media players, and portable game systems on the market today. The PowerStick 15 also features a built-in flashlight, which allows you to uh, be seen at night when you're walking, or even just find uh, the, your keys when you're trying to get into your house at night. PowerStick 15 is one of our very versatile external battery packs. Its overall capacity is 15 watt hours, which will deliver you 8 hours of video playback on your iPod and 60 hours of audio playback on the iPod. Also, it'll basically either triple to five times the runtime on your cell phone and PDA, depending upon the device that you're trying to power. So let's take a look at the power stick a little bit closer and see some of the control features. Looking at the side of the battery pack, we notice that we have one square uh, button here which controls the uh, flashlight feature and turns it on and off and selects either the flashing or the solid mode. This square button also turns the whole battery on and off by holding it for 20 to 30 seconds. After holding it for 20 to 30 seconds, the battery will be shut down completely and allow you to conserve the charge so you can just keep it in your bag until you're ready to use it. On the back of the battery pack, once, it on, once it's on, we'll see a couple of different uh, options and features on back here. Notice at the top, we're going to see eight, actually six, six LEDs. These six LEDs correspond to the various output voltage settings that you can adjust on the, on the PowerStick 15. Using the uh, circular button down here, we can test the uh, overall capacity remaining in the battery pack by momentarily holding it, and the LEDs will show either a full charge, half charge, empty, um, you know, sort of a gradient depending upon how much battery life is left in the battery. By holding the circular button for five seconds, the uh, battery will toggle between its voltage settings. So as you can see, just by holding it down, the battery will just switch through its different voltages from 3 to 7.4 volts. So now that we've been able to adjust the voltage settings, let's take a look at how it recharges. There's a charge input port, which will recharge with its own barrel style connection. And then there's the DC output port, which is actually a mini USB connection that is outputting the uh, desired voltage based on what the battery is set at. So now let's connect to a device and see how this works. The PowerStick 15 comes with six different cell phone adapter tips and allows you to connect to virtually most popular cell phones through the mini USB DC output cable and a series of modular adapter tips. As I mentioned, the PowerStick comes with six of these modular adapter tips. In this case, we're going to be powering a Nokia cell phone through this small barrel style adapter tip. Simply plug in the modular adapter tip into the end of the cable, and now we have the connection ready to connect to your cell phone. However, before we connect to a cell phone or any electronic device, we're going to need to verify that the output voltage is set to the right setting. So, right now it's on the 3.6 output voltage. For Nokia, we need it over on the 6 volt output voltage. So we're going to toggle through the uh, voltage settings here and get it over to the uh, 6 volt output. Alright, so now I have it on the 6 volt output, and um, all I'll do is I'll simply just use the uh, mini, or the cable right here, this little mini barrel style connection, and connect over to the Nokia cell phone. And as you can see, it's charging. So this is a way to connect to your cell phone, very small, compact, external battery pack, going to give you about triple the talk time on this cell phone. Now if you have an iPod, let's see how we connect to that. The PowerStick 15 comes with its own retractable iPod charge cable, compatible with every generation of iPod except for the third generation. The PowerStick will give you 7 to 8 hours of video playback and 60 to 70 hours of audio playback on your iPod, uh, which is much better than the uh, current iPod video, which only gives you th 2 to 3 hours of runtime uh, on watching a movie with your uh, new video iPod. So this will, if, 
essentially triple the runtime of the iPod video playback. So to uh, connect to an iPod with the uh, PowerStick 15, simply select the appropriate output voltage. Now all mini USB or all USB devices uh, require a 5 volt output and the iPod is no different. So we're going to make sure the battery pack is set over to the 5 volt setting, which it is by looking at the LED in indicators. And then we're going to uh, plug in through the DC output port, adjust the retractable cable to the desired length, and then simply use the dock connector to connect over to any one of your various iPods. Simply we'll just plug into the base right here and we are powering the iPod now. The uh, PowerStick 15 is also compatible with most of your uh, popular USB devices. So let's take a look at um, some other USB devices that the uh, PowerStick can power.